we're back and, and i'm excited how, oh, how about it's you? gonna be exciting man it's literally both of our main character cards going head to head all right so now we gotta split this up we know your team doffy i'm team kaido here so so chad, chad help us out yeah hat chat help us out we're gonna launch the predictions towards you guys let us know what you think is gonna be our ppg winner for the one piece event all right so i have 3.2k channel point i'm gonna go on uh and predict kaido i'm gonna you know what i'm all in as well let's do it no guts I'm no glory in. i'm all in how do i oh god i'm trolling there we go there we go oh i have i have 40 more i'm gonna use the rest all right i have zero now all right you're all my channel point for this there you go. I used all my channel points. Value. <laughs> <laughs> How about the rest of chat? All right, chat. Get involved in this prediction. I, it's going to be a fantastic match. No matter what, the winner is going to have an excellent time as they're going to be another winner of a Luffy. But losing here might mean bubbling into third place. So this is this game is a very, very high stakes. Well, just as important, but I really hope Kevin takes the win. Kaido <laughs> Kevin, in this case. Not... Uh, not crocodile kevin i want kaido kevin take the switch i think kevin will win this i'm also very biased because he did buy me korean barbecue Ooh, damn if the blue pair hasn't even bought me anything and i'm still voting for him so <laughs> <laughs> so let's see how this one goes let's get straight into the match it looks like they're shuffling up and they're setting up life now so we should be in for a great game hope you guys got that popcorn ready oh all right yep setting up the life now Crocodile, Kevin, and both players decide to keep their hand. Yeah, no mullies here, baby. Our decks don't break. <laughs> oh, so blue won the dice run the obstacle first. All right, by going first, that is a big, uh, that's a big advantage already from the blue player. Going first is very key in this in this matchup, as if he were to ever go ahead and play the stage, it's going to put him on a weird turn to play it. Very, very f facts. So we're going to go ahead and go to three and. Do we send Tomru here? Uh, it's kind of questionable to send Tomru here because if he just has the who's who, then you're kind of sad. Unless you have double send Tomru, then you're then you're a god. But we just Weevil. run out of Weevil. That's okay. actually just as good. That's putting pressure. Oh, That's whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> It might not be just as good. Hold your horses there, you oh, think. It's actually just as good only because it's putting pressure against um, Kaido. Mm -hmm. uh, and he can send Tomaru later for the full value at six. I, I can see that. Guarantee you can say this is made. This might be what looks to this. This may smell like a bait to me. So if like if he might be baiting a potential who's who off of this weevil. Oh, but he just says uh, I'll take. I will take the early aggression that you have you have put down, and I'm gonna go ahead and and I'm gonna go ahead and stage here. So staging is really really solid. Good use of his turn. He's gonna go six for the face. As the blue player six is. Do you want to go and defend this and ditch two, or do you want to go ahead and ditch a mihawk? Kind of tough. Ooh, I take a hit. It, he goes for the hit. What a, taking a hit here signifies to me is that his hand might not be as optimal as he needs. Uh, so let's go ahead and see what he does with the five dawn. I swear to God, if no one summons the five drop crocodile, I would be just mind blown. That I don't know. Five block, five drop crocodile here isn't exactly the best, only because if we've seen it already, he does play the BB. If he drops the BB. There goes the five drop crocodile, and he gets to ramp some more. You're not wrong if I, but he has to have BB as well, man. But and I'm also not putting him on having three copies. I think just by the way that the card has fallen out of favor, maybe they're playing like two copies of it. So oh, very he bizarre. So he's gonna go, and so there is no five drop crocodile coming down. As we're gonna go ahead and see crocodile swing in for seven, and we're just gonna see another weevil keeping up the pressure here. On he's going two. for the five K pressure, he will always hit. Every turn, he will hit you for that 5k. That 5k will add up very, thing very is, quickly. He's now on the six, uh, the six mana turn for the, the Kaido player. So the six mana turn is pretty solid as it's going to just go ahead and... Wait, how is he on six? He's on seven. He should be on seven, no? No, he started at, because he was turn two. Two. Then he went four, three, five. No, he should be at seven. Four, five... So you're right. Right? I'm not crazy. Oh, he ha no, he haven't used this uh 
Don. Wait, no, you're right. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. He should have been at seven because he he staged. Well, stage on it, four, go to five. Yeah, stage on four, go to five, then go to seven. Because if you're on evens and you somehow play the stage, it immediately puts you into odds. Seven. So when he started with six, there was a little weird. So he should have a bonus, some some bonus done of some caliber. Yeah, I think that the, the game state has been fixed. So he went ahead and deployed six, and he went ahead and minus two. So seven minus two is five. And then, no, he's still missing a Don, actually. He's missing one. <laughs> he's actually just missing a Don casually. But it's fine. We're just the double who's who is very good cleanup here on the Weevils. Um, I was too busy looking at the numbers to figure out if uh, Kaido went ahead and attacked the Weevil or not to pitch a card from hand. But yeah, blue looks like he must have defended because he's still at four life. Yeah, so they're they're trying to rewind the game saying giving him the bonus dawn now. Yeah, no, the, the judges are currently working in the chat. There's there's a judge here that's making sure that this gets handled. So yep, there we go. System board state fixed. And we go back to the blue player. I'm wondering if that would have really changed anything. Would he have attached one dawn onto the Kaido and made it a six? No. I just having the one more active means there's i actually don't know about that but now there's one active now don't know if there's gonna be a, <laughs> but now uh, i don't know what could have happened there but actually there's just one active so yep sticking to the game plan flamingo on curve is still flamingo on curve very very strong as he will now go all the way up to i believe eight dawn because he minus two on the previous turn so he went back to like an even and it's so interesting how the numbers work down but yeah he's going now to eight so he can't big kaido but he can deploy a couple really strong cards in the in the name of queen black marias potentially sasaki's just to cycle a little bit further through his uh through his deck while also applying pressure onto the board yeah so right here um any five costs and under it's actually just straight uh food fodder for uh crocodile crocodile just bounces right back to their hand yeah you're not wrong um <clears throat> but even with that you might want to still deploy the queen to force the crocodile player to minus four right if there is nothing to yes. minus four there's no reason for them to do it and you do want them to expend their dawn and keep your lead with the uh onigashima so yes. that's definitely what you want to go ahead and do let's see how this kaido player plays this turn but definitely swinging with five seems good to me it looks like we tapped five yep so we're gonna go ahead and play queen here we're gonna go ahead and minus a dawn to cycle a couple cards. Oh, I see a big Kaido at hand and a stage. We're going to simply just dump <laughs> the stage. <laughs> Goodbye. Goes. And uh, <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and pay back for that Dawn that we lost. So we've essentially played Queen without a negative effect. Black Maria angle? I would love to see a Black Maria. There's also potentially an argument there to be is. said about attaching two to who's who. But Black Maria is just as good. Okay, looking good for Kevin. He's going for the pressure instead. The Black Maria being the there instead. applies more pressure since it doesn't let them attack it's another blocker you have black Marie as a blocker you have uh queen as a blocker and yeah, all he no. has is uh, doffy doffy and leader well doffy doffy's quite a formidable dude but you know well, what card is really is... good into this board state specifically teach so deploying oh, a teach here yes. is really really good we can go ahead teach double bounce if we're able to back that up with like a law or a Sentamaru and swing with our leader as well as our doflamingo we're in a very good spot we the also could just about, take this time to send Tomaru. Now, don't think about swinging with uh, a Doflamingo here. Uh, mm -hmm. If he were to use his um, Dawn to bounce, mm -hmm. Kevin can counter back with his 9-drop Kaido and just run it over. You're not wrong, but that may be a calculated necessity in order to facilitate your game state, if that makes any sense. It, it does, it does, it does. Right? So, like, um, you understand that he it, it puts you open to the Kaido, which will clear the Flamingo, but sometimes you're just like, okay, Flamingo just needed to burn a life, right? Yeah. So, we're going to go ahead and swing with six. Queen is going to take this block. And this is what's really nice about having multiple blockers, that you feel safe, like, taking this block. And even though Flamingo threatens this Queen, Black Maria will just die in its place. And I'm very yeah. down with that. Yeah. And the only way to really get rid of the queen now is attacking over it with a mingo. If you bounce it, it, it already did its job. Yeah, you're not wrong. That's why Teach was very strong to like start the turn, but 
now that you didn't teach, now you have so many more plays open to you, right? You're not forced to swing with this Doflamingo anymore. This Doflamingo basically says if it swings. It's dead. It kind of dies to the Kaido, but it forces you. It forces the opponent to lose not only a Black Maria, but also lose five Dawn. Yes. Technically four, because the island does bring one back. You're not wrong. I think. I don't think that's actually good enough. I think Flamingo needs to be more impactful than that. Yeah, actually. there's so not I, enough impact for the Flamingo to really have attack and get more value. Yeah, I think you kind of have to send Tomaru here for six, and then flow two. I think that's a very good use of your turn. Oh, okay. he goes for the nine case. Wait, what? What? Huh? <laughs> huh? What? Eh? Huh? What? Oh. Oh, he did the wrong one. <laughs> we were all now, that's, now that's broken. <laughs> Yo, imagine having a who's who blocker. Okay. If, oh, he's floating too. He's still gonna end up floating too. Uh, you, I do not believe it can add. Oh, he the used passive it. fist. Oh. I do not believe you can add the passive fist. Uh, but you can definitely add the weevil. So it, there are legal targets. Go ahead up and bring up our nice big boy Gecko Moria here onto the screen and potentially follow that up with a pacifist to see if that gets caught. Yes. Let's take a look at that. Yeah. No, it is the finals and you can definitely make some very simple mistakes. I completely understand that. Yep. Oh, okay, there's a judge, so I sh the judge should be able to take care of it. But yeah, Gecko Moria here, making sure to recycle a seven warlords or a thriller bark pirate. And to my understanding, I'm pretty sure the pacifistas as well as the Santamarus are navy. I think they are navy. Mm -hmm. I should know this. I should be definitely much more certain. <laughs> and uh, based too. off the anime, I'm very sure that pacifista is uh, <laughs> not pretty a warlord sure of navy. the sea. Yeah. No, he's it's navy, but he's definitely not a he's definitely not a seven warlords. I will tell you what. If he was a Kuma, then yes. But I don't think he's Kuma right now. He's a pacifista. No, it is pass Exactly. So, okay. Well, either way, this is exactly what we talked about. This is a 9-drop Kaido turn, where Kaido's going to go ahead, delete the biggest threat, which ends up being the Gecko Moria, while simultaneously taking care of the Doflamingo, because he went ahead and tapped the two Dawn to summon a Jinbei. Yep. So he has to have 4K in blocks. Okay. No, does that's... he have 4,000 in blocks? You're... Oh, he simply he does. does. He simply just does. <laughs> okay. Dank. Uh, very cool, very cool. And then we're just going to Kaido swing at leader. This definitely goes in, right? After you've dumped three cards from hand, this most certainly... Uh, there's very little combo power, if any, left in your deck. We're going to go ahead and, t and tap the stage to make sure that our five cost was actually mitigated to four. And we're going to pass it right back to the Flamingo player. The issue is, since he minus Ford, I don't think this Flamingo can go all the way to take down the Kaido. Because if this Flamingo could clear the Kaido, then I would say, I would argue that he's in a pretty fine spot. The issue is, I don't think it can. Yeah, the, he only has 7 Dawn up, which makes it for a total, a net total of 14k coming into the Kaido with 1 Dawn up. That's... Big, tough, man. So with that being said, and we understand that we probably can't clear this Kaido, what is our, our game plan? We must kill the leader. And how do we achieve that, Ying? Uh, go for broke. Go for broke. <laughs> no, but like... He's definitely not killing Kaido, like you said. 7,000 no, is not enough. It, it he... can't possibly happen, but yeah. he now needs to rearrange his dawn in a assorted way in order to be able to deal at least two damage this turn yeah so how much how many cards does kevin have in his hand or kaido have in his hand purple player it looks, it looks like they're like... both at a uh, four cards roughly yeah. in hand yeah and chances are there is a um blast a breath. breath so meaning oh, he I, I think i was able to see the entire hand there I, I, I saw blast kaido breath player. plus some more i so... saw an ulti a blast breath double brachio and that's about it <laughs> so that means we know for oh. sure 
and a who's who yeah i think who's who was there so we knew for sure that um kaido was not dying we knew kaido wasn't going well he's not gonna die but you definitely want to go ahead yeah you, you can when they leave one up you can just say like if you have it i lose the game like I, I i'm not willing to take those odds but um you definitely have to go ahead and try to bypass that just ignore that that nine drop kaido exists you know he's there but he doesn't he's not really there you have to make sure that you close out this game soon Yeah, it does look like Kevin's behind. The question is which Kevin? XD. <laughs> so he's taking a think here if he wants to take this seven. Yeah, going down to the final life is pretty scary here. Whoo! He's living uh, on the edge. The thing is, Kaido can definitely, with those two attackers on board. Okay. <laughs> Why are we leaving a Dawn up? Oh, for law interesting so we're gonna go ahead and fetch the blast breath now and then we're gonna tap our last dawn into what seems to be a law right yeah, okay. yeah, is the law. yeah. i'm down and law is like we said a very good card into the big kaido one of the big one of the outs that he needs right because as long as purple is able to maintain this board state two characters that can attack while also going to he's at seven now he's gonna go to eight he's gonna go to ten on the following turn that is the kill turn so he just needs to go ahead and hit him for one damage can he do it? So, let's see. Um, right here, we we saw the cards in his hand. I would. Would you who's who or would you brachial bomber? I would probably who's who. I would who's who. Yeah. Because it also creates another threat that could potentially deal with the board. Yes. Yeah. Who's who seems very solid here. It makes it so that we don't go to ten. But I'm also just okay with not going to ten. Nine yeah. is probably enough to win the game as well. Yeah. If you're going for lethal, nine is more than enough. Before this Kaido swings, I feel like we need to leader over the Jinbei because then that makes it so that we have a really easy time living. Oh, oh he's just, go, he's going for the Dolphin. Oh, he's just going to go for full board control, which I'm. that's very solid as well. He just needs to I'm, keep I'm one wishing. Dawn up to bait a Blast Breath, in my opinion. He just needs to keep one up. Even if he doesn't have the Blast Breath, he just baits it anyways. Yeah. And he goes five and six. I'm down for a But five he six. has to go for at least one hit. No, at least one needs to go in. So yes, this Jinbei yeah. goes down as well, and then he can just put uh, three onto the who's who, and then he goes six at lead. Yes, and that seems that. like a very solid spot to be in if I were Kevin. Yes. Now, will Kevin do it? Yeah, get in there. Oh, he's putting five. He's only putting so what's two. What's the difference between five and six? Why it's do you really... choose to flow? I mean, well, okay. He it. Okay, right. it just works, I guess. Oh, wait, no, that who's who was just summoned. Just played. That who who's was just summoned. Take it easy. Oh, yep. Sorry. Nervous, nervous. It's all good. It's the finals jitters. All right. Very solid. All right. Yeah. All right. And it, with this, I'm down. I'm down to just pass. Yeah. It's okay. You can leave two Dawn up. You're, you know, what are you going to do with it? All right. No, nope, played very, very well. Okay, and it's gonna be. It's looking like it's, unless there is, unless there are, a couple of really big, well-statted cards in Kevin's hand. It might be Kevin that's gonna be taking it here. We can have another purple winner. <laughs> I, I have. I'm definitely exhausting the Kevin meme a little too hard here. So I'm gonna go and be yeah, a little I think more you serious. It. Uh, yeah. I, I, I took it back. I stepped. I, I took a step back there. After and the I, I definitely uh, pushed the 10. Kevin the Kevin meme. So let's see how Blue can get out of it. Let me try to think of what is the way that we can necessarily come back from this board state. Yeah, no, no one caught my uh, pun. Dang. <laughs> and there's no point in explaining it now. I lost it. So he's going to go at 8 here. Ah, it's very tough. It doesn't matter if you clear these who's who. These who's who's are very fake. You want to yeah, clear no. them, I guess. Ooh. Ooh. No, Double OT a... block uh, counter. We've That's... seen the cards in in uh, Kaido's hand, and they are very high combo cards. Uh, he has small. the rest of the cards in his hand are kind of fakeish. He does have a queen, I believe, double brachial bomber, and a mystery card. I believe he has one blast breath. And another blast. If he has another blast, then I don't think this game is winnable for the blue player. I'm gonna go ahead and tap the gecko. Gecko's gonna add back the law. 
And he's just going to replay the law. Law here is very he's solid. Can he play law? another law? Yeah. He has another law. He's just sick like that. Yeah. All right. All right. Uh, so he doesn't go for the win here. Instead, he go for the clear. You... But the, the question is how... I mean, with the Brachio Bomber, we definitely have the clear. We... It's just unfortunate that we're going to end up floating a Dawn. Oh, no. We didn't have to tap the stage there. Did we? No, we definitely I'm, shouldn't have I tapped would, stage. I would never tap the stage there. That Brachio yeah, Bomber Yeah, I think you Brachio Bomber the Gecko Moria to go to 10. Then you minus 7. Then you stage. If that makes any sense. It makes so much more sense. Right? He, he messed up. So that seems like an appropriate use of your dawn. But yeah. oh well, it's fine. I'm I'm pretty sure this is still just as good. <coughs> oh, to be honest, I saw what he drew just now. So instead of doing that, what I would have done it was um Barracky Bomber, 100 percent And he drew a black Maria. Man, Black Maria does it. So just Brack your bomber, kill the gecko, play uh attack with the Kaido played the Black Maria. Now he's at two floating Dawn. He has a blocker. And the only way to get rid of the blocker is to expend four Dawn. Yeah. He ends up also keeping one Dawn active as well. So uh, he actually very... keeps two Dawn active in this case. Well, he can go ahead and attach one to, to his leader because his leader oh, yeah. is most certainly swinging, right? Oh, yeah. So even better. The issue is because he tapped the stage prior uh he doesn't get to like get the, the 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 dawn unsuspended in this case he will only have one unsuspended dawn so instead of hitting with six with leader if he does the play we're talking about where you break your bomber burn and then yeah. stage uh, and then play the black maria he's left with like a weird total so it's very weird but it's fine he still ends up in a board state that is very favorable having a 10 drop a, a blocker and a one up for the blast breath which is very okay <laughs> yeah for a well, uh, number of cards in hand uh what's available to use yeah yeah no definitely very very good and unfortunately like the blue player is also not getting bonus cards because as you're killing the gecko moria he's not getting a card there when you swing with the kaido it's getting blocked so he's gonna stay at the same amount of cards in hand which he's gonna be at three for the following turn and then being at three is almost it's gonna be very difficult to get out of this even with your opponent being at one life yeah Let's see how this go he he goes for the Brachio Bomber. We we knew yeah. what he had it. He was gonna do it. He should have done it early, uh, before the stage, but he realized it a little too late, unfortunately. But when you have the stage, people get excited. You get way too excited for it. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm you would just have one more bonus done on the on the next turn, which is it's fine. And man, Bo Hancock, do it just loves being the second to last card in security. So that is your safe. That, that's your safe spot. It's actually the safe spot. Now he has three blockers to get around. That's interesting. By not burning the seven, you do give blue an additional draw. Does an additional draw matter though? Hmm. Not sure. Mm. At the end of the day, you're still playing Black Maria plus keeping one Dawn up. Yeah, you 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 take this all days of the week. Oh, it just fell to the floor, but he wanted to reveal it to show that like he's not like dropping cards or anything like that. He's trying to decide if he wants the Sobbles here, which I don't think you Sobbles a who's who. That seems like a recipe to lose this game. It but I guess we're already. I think we're already doomed. So I'm not sure if this he, truly matters. You never recipe. You never do. So, like, him going for a swing here is actually better, mm -hmm. the way I see it. Because now, um, all I have to do is survive two hits. Yeah, which with the board state that Blue is presenting is very possible. There's no way these laws or these boas, I mean, I yeah. say no way, but they kind of got to turn sideways. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh my goodness. But they will be they are gonna be buying you a couple turns here. If he is able to like develop another flamingo while removing like answers, the issue is if he can't remove those who's who's. Like he actually cannot remove them because they just come down and deal with the blockers. Yeah. So how do you do this? Um Love Love into Love Love into Love Love into Love Love. Oh, we need a lot of love. I mean, love would be very good. I know, right? Do you love your deck enough? 
The, it's not if I love my deck enough. It's if my deck loves me enough, I guess, is the real question. That is also true, yeah. Yeah. So You know, that's never the case. That's never the case. <laughs> that's so. never the case. Many my deck people. hates me. Many, so many people. Your deck will hate you before uh, it loves you. Yeah. This is interesting. <clears throat> Which is, funnily enough, if he has, like, a Flamingo here, he can Flamingo, bounce the Maria... And then he doesn't even have to minus four dawn. He might still just be alive. Because uh... he can't bounce the who's who. So he can like Flamingo the Maria, put no. one into the crocodile, swing for six. And I think six is a total that he has to blast breath. And then there is a potential of leaving two up for a uh, love love beam. These are a lot of potentials, but it's maybe the only way that he has out of this. Also, doesn't have to be the Flamingo. If you have a Gecko Moria in hand, you can just Gecko yes. Moria, add the Mihawk, or Gecko Moria, add a Law, bounce Looks four. Like he has like four cards in hand? He has four. We know one of them is Sobbles. So yeah. let's already, so with that information. playable cards. Uh, Sobbles is pretty playable. Sobbles is a counter, if I'm not correctly, correct? Right? No, no. Is that? No, you can just cast Sobbles. I know you can cast it, but it's also a counter. No, you can't. If it was a counter, it would be so much better. Ah, uh, Teach. Eh, I would have definitely preferred to Sobbles instead of Teach here. I would have rather the 1k counter. If he loses by 1k, that's going to be very sad. Um, then... Concerning the specs of Kaido, 1k is uh, stretching it a little. I, I know. It, it might seem like I'm, you know... Like being extra nitpicky, but sometimes 1k does end up coming down to it. Because what I do feel like is going to happen is going to attach 4 into the crocodile and then go 9 at lead. Leaving 2 up. <coughs> and then if he does actually have the love love beam, then he's not in the worst possible position for potentially winning this game. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's not a counter. Alright. And yeah, in that case, the uh, Sabo would be much better. Um, I oh, feel like Sabo's the reason the he... be lit. <laughs> yeah, I feel like the reason he played the Teach or the Blackbeard is to have some aggression included in this. He just wanted he one. Did. He wanted one more thing to swing in the following turn, which yes, okay, that's I, like, I don't see anything like uh, absolutely terrible about it. He goes no, for seven K. Seven K is not bad because seven might is good enough to trigger a blast breath, in my opinion. After he's used so many ultis. I think I've, seven is blast breath. I I just do blast breath. Yeah, I would blast breath. Yeah, and this is all. This is what you want as a blue pair. You don't. Oh, okay. Well, this he is takes he's just eating it, which is fine. He leaves four up. Uh, no, you're not attaching four into law. Relax. You're not attaching four on on uh, two bar either. Relax. No, that's not happening. <laughs> he's like, but wait, what if? There is no what ifs here. Oh god, not like this. Uh, it looks like he's going to pass. Okay, solid. Very, very solid. Right. There is no need to do literally anything else with your turn. <coughs> so, three blockers, four attacks. Three blockers, four attacks, yeah. How many that cards does... are in hand? I believe there are f three cards in Kevin's hand with five cards in... Wow, I just... Three in blue, five in purple. <laughs> I, was like, I okay, fell I'm into the Kevin trap her. just again, dude. Uh, does he have another Husu? Well, we understand that Purple has to win this turn. We know that uh, Crocodile has the Sobbles in hand, and he can even if he deploys a Queen and a Maria, that is literally Sobbles minus four, easy flip, um, yeah. and then you go five plus ten. So he has to have some sort of combo here in order to get himself out of this. It all depends on what's in his hand. Yeah, there's there is a mystery card in Crocodile's hand that I don't I don't think it's Love Love Beam. I think he's just super baiting it. Going 10 with this Kaido cannot be correct. 
That can't be the first thing to do to happen. I, I don't think it's the first thing to do either. Like, what's going on? Okay. I mean, it's not it's not game losing, but it's okay. How Let's many blast breaths? The real question is how many blast breaths are in Ten's hand? I almost I think, walked into the trap. I think only one. If he top decked the second one, then I mean, God bless, right? So what, there's two cards left in, uh... I think he has... Okay, I'm looking at most cards in his hand. I'm not sure if I saw another Kaido, but maybe he... That's he is baiting us. There is no secondary 9-drop, right? No, there's not. But, like, a Kaido here is not good, only because there's, there's two blockers. No, no, a Kaido... Uh, with the way that these swings turned out, definitely not good. So he went ahead and swung 5, which... Now makes it so that we know ex sort of what's left in Kevin's hand. We know it's a Love Love Beam plus a Sobbles. And we have two Who's Who's on the board. I don't think the Who's Who's can... Well, with the two blockers, it's calm, almost impossible. So he needs to use his Dawn to, like, destroy a blocker while also putting pressure that beats the Love Love. Man, this is tough. And simultaneously, hold one Dawn. So he's going to go for the King. Okay. So King is going to come down here... Uh, thinking uh, he shouldn't have put his hand over the teach i think teach is definitely the right call but puts him in a stickier position hmm does purple lose this actually purple yeah. may lose this i think this purple just lost this the crazy part is he knew that uh, he knew about the sobbles so He's you saying can, that he you literally can that. love love beam this. You can love love beam to just cycle a card because you know you're not dead. Just love love beam to draw. I would love love beam. There are no more attacks coming your way. There's no way. Oh, oh. sure, I guess. And he's just gonna pass here on him. You can't Maria here. You Maria here, you lose. Yeah. So you have, you to... have to keep combo power in hand. I mean, you can Maria here, but that. No, uh, you, you, swing you, for 15. There's yeah, no you, way you get into 15. <clears throat> you, no, I guess you do have to Maria so that he minuses four. Uh, you're actually forced to Maria. Just kidding. That's actually the exact opposite of whether you are forced to Maria so that he can minus four and then make it so that he's not 15ing you. He is 11ing you. 11. Which he, he I don't think he combos <laughs> out of it. I know he yeah. has a queen in hand as well as a blast breath and then if he bounces the maria that is exactly 11 he needs one more but he can't blast breath you oh he's fully tapped out oh he is 100 percent dead wow yeah. huh ah well uh Sobble? he's gonna go ahead and sobbles I was also down to see uh, Law swing for five. That's kind of dank. And yeah, oh, there... Oh, there it is. He did have a nine drop. Oh, what the heck happened there? Mm. Oh, man. Wow. Well, here he we have it. He didn't Kevin. have the blast breath, so there we go. And Crocodile is the winner. Let's go, boys. Kevin takes the oh, win, and I'm there gonna... goes my channel points. Dude, my channel points are going to be so thick, dude. Let's go. Oh, that's unfortunate. Oh, my channel points all gone. I I wonder if there is a way to win that game with a different order. I, I feel like the um the turn that he staged like too early that made a huge difference because he could have burned that extra hit. Yeah, I that extra that's hit could have made the difference. But that's the thing. Sometimes you just make these slight mistakes, and then that leads you to just immediately lose the game. It's it's very, yeah. and that's that's what's so good about One Piece, in my opinion. Like you have these, it's such a punishing game. Yeah, such a punishing game, and that's going to be unfortunate for Ten here, as losing a table one does not guarantee you a Luffy. It might actually cause you to bubble into third place. Devastating loss for Purple.